Welcome to the Morning Update. I'm Erin Roan. A pre-election blitz is on the cards for Anthony Albanese off the back of softening support for Labor in the polls. The opposition leader will visit 20 marginal seats across five states in the next two days, with policy costings to also be released today. The Prime Minister will be campaigning in Tassie. Scott Morrison had a bit of an awkward moment yesterday when he accidentally crash-tackled a kid at a local soccer club there. It's a bit of a rugby tag. You good? You good? Good boy. Meantime, the pre-election blackout period has begun, banning political advertising on TV and radio. It doesn't cover ads online, though, so we are being urged to expect a ton of digital marketing. Snow has forced authorities to scale back their search for a grandfather missing in Victoria's high country. The 70-year-old has spent a sixth night in freezing conditions. He hasn't been seen since setting out for a walk at Dinner Plain on Friday afternoon. Marathon debate in the New South Wales Upper House overnight with MPs failing to get to a vote on voluntary assisted dying legislation. Almost 100 amendments were debated for more than eight hours. Most of them voted down. Greens MP Kate Fairman told the House stories of people who have suffered through terminal illness. This is for those people whose just intense pain and suffering from all of the conditions that I have mentioned. The palliative care has no hope in hell ever of alleviating their pain in the last day, the last week, the last month. There's now just one amendment to be discussed with the vote tip to get underway this morning. Former St Kilda player Sam Fisher is facing drugs charges following a police raid on his home in Sandringham. The 79-year-old has been charged with trafficking a large commercial quantity of drugs. Overseas, a Russian soldier has pleaded guilty to shooting dead a Ukrainian civilian as one of the first war crimes trials gets underway. He claims his commander told him to kill the 62-year-old who was unarmed and on a bicycle because they were afraid he'd give away their position. And research shows a cuddle from your partner can reduce stress, but only if you're a woman. A group of around 80 people in romantic relationships took part in a stress test with hugs found to reduce stress indicators like cortisol in females. The effect wasn't replicated in men, though. In sport, pop star Cody Simpson has officially made the switch to professional swimmer. He's made his way into the national squad for the Commonwealth Games and FINA World Champs. Shana Jack has also made it onto the squad after a two-year doping ban. And for even more sports news, make sure you check out the sports update. You'll find it wherever you're listening to this show. In entertainment news, and Taylor Swift has given the commencement address at New York University. She was also given an honorary doctorate. Not the type of doctor you would want around in case of an emergency. Unless your specific emergency was that you desperately needed to hear a song with a catchy hook and an intensely cathartic bridge section. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcasts team. We'll see you later on for another episode of The Update.